so in this particular unit first we are going to learn about all the basics of cost accounting problems on level setting and EOQ next EOQ what is EOQ economic order quantity in part B you're going to attend two questions which carries 10 marks each totally for 20 marks Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this very first session. In this session, we will be discussing about the subject cost accounting, which is there for BCom third semester students who are studying under University of Mysore. So in this particular subject, totally we have five units, totally we have five units. The first unit deals with introduction to cost accounting. The second unit deals with material cost. Third unit deals with employee cost. Fourth unit deals with overage cost. And the last unit, that is fifth unit, it deals with reconciliation of cost and financial accounts. So totally we have five chapters. So if you go each chapter, if you look into each chapter, we will get an idea what and all the particular unit includes. So unit one, it's all about introduction to cost accounting. In this particular unit, we are going to know the meaning of cost accounting, definition of cost accounting, objectives, importance and uses of cost accounting and also difference between the cost accounting and financial accounting and various elements of cost and also classification of cost, cost object, cost unit, cost driver, cost center, cost reduction and cost control. So in this particular unit, first we are going to learn about all the basics of cost accounting. So what is cost accounting means? And what are the objectives of cost accounting? What are the importance of cost accounting? Which are the elements comes under cost accounting? This and all we are going to learn in this very first unit. And we are also going to solve cost sheet in unit 1. Cost sheet is nothing but the total cost included to produce a product that is called cost sheet. The total cost, what we are going to find out by putting some format and by following some systematic order that is called cost sheet. So we are going to solve cost sheet in unit number 1. And moving on to the second unit, it's about material cost. Yes, what is material? The material required to produce the product, raw material required to produce the product that is called material, right? So in this unit, unit 2, we are going to know about the material. So meaning of material, importance and types of materials under cost accounting and direct and indirect material, material control, inventory control techniques of inventory control and problems on level setting and EOQ. Next EOQ, what is EOQ? Economic order quantity. Next you're going to learn about procurement and procedure for procurement of materials and documentation involved in materials accounting and also materials storage, duties of storekeeper, pricing of material issues, preparation of stores ledger account and LIFO, FIFO, simple average price and weighted average price method. So in this particular unit, in unit number two, we are going to know about what is material and what are types of material we have that is direct material and indirect material, objectives of material and how to maintain the inventory, how to maintain the material inventory and what are the responsibilities of storekeeper and how to solve the problems with respect to material cost. So with respect to that, we are going to solve the problem based on two methods that is LIFO and FIFO. So what is this LIFO method? LIFO method is nothing but last in first out. What is FIFO? FIFO is nothing but first in first out. So in this unit, we are going to learn all about the material cost and also we are going to solve the problem based on LIFO and FIFO method. So moving further to unit number three. So in this unit, we are going to study about employee cost. So what is this employee cost? Employee cost is nothing but the payment what we pay to the laborers or to the you know employees that is called employee cost. So they'll get the daily wages, they'll get the weekly wages, they'll get the monthly wages, they'll get the wages based on the number of units produced. Yes, we have n number of 
types of wages payment. So with respect to that, in unit number three, we are going to study about employee cost. So in employee cost, the meaning of employee cost, types of labor cost and labor cost control, time keeping and time booking and payroll procedure, preparation of payroll, idle time causes and treatment of normal and abnormal idle time and over time causes and treatment. Next labor turnover, meaning of labor turnover, reasons and effects of labor turnover and methods of wage payment, time rate system and piece rate system and incentives schemes, wholesale plan, Rowan plan, Taylor differential piece rate system problems. Yes, in this unit, we are going to study about employees cost. So what is employee cost? How we make the payment to the employees and all. And also, we are going to solve the problem based on wholesale plan, Rowan plan and Taylor differential piece rate system. So on this three methods, we are going to solve the problems with respect to the payment of you know, salary or wages to the employees. Next, with respect to unit number four, that is overheads cost. So overheads is nothing but the expenditures. So in this, we are going to study about the meaning of overheads, classification of overheads, accounting and controlling of manufacturing overheads, estimation and collections, cost allocation, apportionment, reapportionment and absorption of manufacturing overheads and problems on primary and secondary overage distribution using reciprocal service method that is repeated distribution method and simultaneous equation method and also absorption of overage meaning and methods of absorption of overage and problems on machine R rate. So in this particular unit, we are going to know about what is the meaning of overhead and also we are going to solve the problems based on machine R rate. This is about unit number four. Moving further to unit number five, it's all about reconciliation of cost and financial accounts. So meaning of reconciliation of cost and financial accounts and reasons for differences in profit under financial and cost account and procedure for reconciliation and ascertainment of profits as per financial accounts and cost accounts and reconciliation of profits of both sets of accounts and preparation of reconciliation statement and problems. Yes, here we are going to learn about what is reconciliation of statement with respect to you know, reconciliation statement of cost account and financial account. And also we are going to solve a few problems based on reconciliation of cost and financial account. So this is, this is all about unit one to five. Moving further, the question paper pattern. So you are going to write the exam, the main exam for 60 marks. How much? You're going to write the exam for 60 marks. So in that 60 marks, there will be three parts. So part A, part B and part C. There will be three parts. So part A, part B and part C. So part A, it deals with five marks questions or two marks questions. If you are answering two marks questions, you are supposed to answer five questions. If you are answering five marks question, you are supposed to answer any two questions. So five into two, that means five marks questions, you are going to attend two questions. So each question carries five marks, totally for 10 marks. Next, part B. In part B, you are going to attend two questions which carries 10 marks each, totally for 20 marks. And in part C, you are going to attend two questions. Each question carries 15 marks, totally for 30 marks. So 10 plus 20, 30. 30 plus 30, 60. So totally you are going to attend the main exam for 60 marks. So this is the marks distribution or the exam question paper pattern. That is part A, part B and part C where you'll be answering for 10 marks in part A and for 20 marks in part B and for 30 marks in part C. Moving further, books for reference. Yes, if you want to refer the book, yes, obviously you have to refer these many books so that you'll gain more knowledge about cost accounting. So these are the books you're supposed to refer. The first one by Charles T. Hogden and Shikant M. Dathur and also written by 
Madhav V. Rajan. The book name is Cost Accounting, a managerial emphasis given by or published by Pearson Education. Next one, Jawaharlal, the book name Cost Accounting and the publisher is McGraw Hill Education. Next, the book written by Madhav Gowda J. The book name is Cost Accounting. And the fourth one, Raji Goyal, the book name is Cost Accounting. And the fifth book that is written by Jain SP and KL Narak, book name is Cost Accounting. And the sixth one is Aurora MN, the book name is Cost Accounting. So if you refer these books, you will get all the information with respect to the subject Cost Accounting. So this is all about your subject and in the upcoming classes, we are going to discuss about each and every unit in detail. So until then, thank you all.